Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim. Welcome back to Kid Short Stories. I'm sure you are just as excited as I am to hear part two of that insane adventure of Johnny finding that crazy thing at the garage sale, that wooden box. <gasps> what is the coolest thing you've ever found somewhere? Hmm, maybe it's a really cool old rock with a fossil on it, or maybe a treasure chest? Have you ever found a treasure chest? I definitely haven't, but let's find out with Johnny. Let's go. As Johnny turned the key in the box, he felt the lock click open. Snap. The top of the wooden box lifted slightly. It was now ready to be opened. Johnny looked at his parents and said, I can't believe it. We just solved the, a 40-year-old mystery, Mr. Jones. He told me that this box was given to him 40 years ago and he has never been able to open it. How did we open it so fast? Uh, Johnny, are you going to open it? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. I was nervous and excited and... All right, here we go. Johnny gripped onto the top of the box with his pointer finger and his thumb on both hands and carefully opened the top lid. They had no idea what might be inside, and all three of them leaned over the table and closely looked inside the box to see. Wow, look at those old coins. Johnny reached inside of the box. They were one, two, three, four, it looks like uh, seven seven coins inside of this box each coin was inside of a, a separate pouch that was kind of see-through so you could see that it was a coin inside but each coin was in a different little pouch johnny pulled them all out of the box and checked inside to make sure there was nothing else yep it's just these coins what kind of coins do you think they are they're not gold they just look like old coins from uh, I don't understand these words on here. What does it say? Both his parents looked at the coins closely and said, Yeah, they're definitely different languages. I'm, I'm not sure where these coins are from. They're definitely not from here, and they do look very old. Do you think they're, like, rare and valuable? Said Johnny. Yeah, they might be worth something. They're definitely old, and from looks like from far away. But there's no clue if if they're worth anything now. Oh, really? Said Johnny. He was a little disappointed. He was hoping to find, you know, like gold coins inside of the box. Oh, don't be disappointed, Johnny. They said. You still uh, cracked open a mystery of 40 years. And these are some pretty cool coins. Maybe uh, take one out. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm sure Mr. Jones is going to be interested to see this stuff. Yeah, you're right. So, Johnny, which one do you want to take out and maybe we can clean it up a little bit to make it a little shinier? Hmm. Johnny thought for a second and looked through all the different bags of coins that were in there. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. It was in kind of like a light brown small burlap sack. As he grabbed the bag and dropped the coin on the table, he had no idea what was about to happen. He picked up the coin and rubbed his thumb on it. And all of a sudden, whoa, what's happening? I felt a tingle. Um, whoa, whoa! All of a sudden, the room started spinning and spinning and spinning, and Johnny was sucked into the coin. His parents couldn't believe it. They put both their hands out to reach for him, but it was too late johnny disappeared with the coin as well as his parents were left standing in front of the dinner table in the kitchen johnny was off on an adventure it all happened so fast and it was all just kind of a blur as johnny was zooming through time or the space and clouds and it was very crazy looking but all of a sudden he landed with his feet on the ground it kind of knocked him over to his knees but he held himself up with one hand stop himself from rolling over where 
Where am I? Said Johnny as he looked around. <whistles> it was then that he realized that he was in the jungle. <whistles> there were all kinds of sounds and noises that he had never heard before. How am I in the jungle? What kind of coin is this? He said, holding the coin away from him like he was a little afraid of it. How do I get back home? Coin, take me home. He started talking to the coin like it was a real person, but it was just a coin. Well, a magical coin. Talking didn't seem to work, but maybe rubbing it like he did before? He took his thumb and rubbed it on the coin, and all of a sudden it started happening again. Whoa! 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 Johnny was in for another crazy ride as he was sucked back into the coin and zoomed through time, space, and all those fluffy colors. But just like that. Whoa! Ow! Johnny, are you okay? yelled his parents. They were so happy to see him. Oh, whoa. What just happened? said Johnny. We don't know, but you just, I don't know, just disappeared into that coin and then you were gone for a couple minutes and now you're back. What happened, Johnny? They asked. Um, well, it's, I, I was somewhere else. I think I was in the middle of a jungle or something. It, it all happened so fast and it was a little scary, but it was kind of awesome at the same time, said Johnny. Wait, let me see that coin, said one of his parents. Here, just don't rub the coin. Just be careful with it. He dropped it into his hand and... Oh, this kind of looks like Portuguese. I wonder if this is an old coin from Brazil. Doesn't Brazil have rainforest? Said Johnny. Yeah, it has a very big rainforest. Yeah, the Amazon, said Johnny. Is that, is that where I just went? Is this coin some kind of portal to the Amazon rainforest? All three of them stood in silence, staring at each other, and weren't really sure what to believe, what was real and what was just pretend, but this was very, very real. Let me see one of the other coins. Hold on, Johnny. <laughs> uh, we need to uh, we need to talk about this. What's to talk about? It's an amazing adventure, and why don't we do it together? Maybe if we all hold hands and... And rub the coin at the same time. Maybe we'll all go. You have got to see it for yourself. His parents looked at each other and smiled. All right. I guess we're going on some kind of adventure. Where are we going, Johnny? Johnny closed his eyes and grabbed a bag from the box of coins. Uh, this one. Let's see what this one does. As the three of them held hands, Johnny grabbed onto that new coin, gave it a rub, and all of a sudden... Whoa, whoa, whoa! All three of them were sucked inside of that coin, uh, headed off to some crazy adventure. <laughs> Holy smokes! Wouldn't that be insane? Like, what if you found those magic coins like that? Would you want to go on the adventure like Johnny does? Oh yeah, me too. Well, friends, that may be the end of the story but it is definitely only the beginning of Johnny and his parents' great adventures with their magic coins. Oh, and maybe they'll bring Mr. Jones next time. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shout out! I want to say hey to Willa from Maryland, Mikhail from California, Dwani from Seattle, Graham from California, Noah from Australia, Rowan from New York, Caleb from Virginia, and Sawyer from Monterey, California. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. And on the spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew. Without you, my friends, will you have a super duper day? And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!